everybody welcome back to the soapy cauldron i know it's been a while since i uploaded a video and i'm sorry about that um i will give you a little brief um overview of what's been going on so the last time i uploaded i think was in november and since then i have had covid and thankfully it was a very very mild case it really wasn't much more than a cold for me so no issues there but I was down for a couple weeks and then after that was Christmas and then um, we had New Year's and in my real job, I am a trainer at a university and we were implementing a new software program or really um, this big overhaul of our computer programs and I've been very busy trying to teach the university how to use that system. So it's been a while since I was able to sit down and film a video for you, so I'm sorry, but I am here now and I'm hoping that 2021 will be much better for us than 2020 was. So today I am sitting down to make a soap for my friend Denise. She's actually one of my very best customers and she leaves me the best reviews on my Etsy shop. So she loves my, what she calls fancy pants soaps. So I thought I would make a soap inspired by her in colors I was told she likes and also in a scent I was told she likes. And she says that this scent, she thinks she can get a lot of her friends to buy a soap too. So Denise, this soap is completely inspired by you and I hope you like it. If you're not Denise and you'd still like to see how we make this soap, then don't stop watching. Okay, so normally when I make soap, if you've watched some of my videos before, I typically make it with water and lye and then my bucket of oils. Today I am using goat's milk and lye because if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you don't know this, but my goat, Maggie, she's a dairy goat, she had a baby. And because she's a dairy goat and she only had one baby, we are able to milk her a little tiny bit. Um, just because she produces so much milk, and she only has one baby, we're not gonna take the baby away from her or even you know, do anything to that baby's milk supply. She's gonna raise it completely. But because she has such large udders and she's used to producing such a large amount of milk, all we really do is take just enough to make her comfortable and to make sure that her um, udders stay even. So I am able to milk her just a little bit and she gave us this goat's milk that I've mixed with lye and I'm gonna pour it into our oils because this soap, I checked with Denise and she said um, goat's milk is good because I know some people are very particular about vegan soap, but she said that uh, goat's milk is good, she likes it. So surprise Denise, we are adding goat's milk to your soap. So the baby, again, if you're not following me on Facebook or Instagram, we basically took a poll and we all agreed that we liked the name Jenny, um, Jenny Weasley. So that is who she's named after. So I'm gonna give this a quick mix and then I will work on the color. Alright, the color I'm going for is a nice neutral earth tone color, so I'm using Hammered Copper, hammered copper Kettle Mica Powder from Nurture Soap. I'm going to take just a little bit and see if we can get a warm taupey color is the goal. I want like a muted terracotta is kind of where I'm going with this. So let's mix this up and see what we get. Okay, this is almost exactly the color that I was going for. And then what I'm going to do to make it extra fancy is I shaved a soap that was um, rainbow, um, rainbow earth colors because I was also told Denise is a very big fan of rainbow. So I think that this should um, complement the color nicely and kind of sprinkle earth tones throughout. So I'm gonna dump all of this in here. And then while I'm mixing up, I'm also just going to go ahead and add the fragrance oil. And the fragrance oil I chose is Magnolia Leaf and Tonka. 
This smells incredible. It's from Brambleberry. And it's, I don't even know how to explain it or describe it, but it is amazing. It almost reminds me of a Lush fragrance. So if y'all are familiar with Lush, it's similar to, I would say, maybe Sleepy. But I don't know, it's kind of better than Sleepy. I don't know how to explain it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up and then I will pour it into my molds. I brought out two molds just in case because I put a lot of soap shavings in there so I wasn't sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my new blue mold and then whatever's left, I will pour it into this purple mold, which you've seen a billion times. But I really like so far how this is turning out because it's literally almost exactly what I envisioned. So that is great. All right, clearly I overshot how much I thought this was going to make. So I only need one and I'm going to pour that into um, a smaller mold off to the side. So now as always, I need to let this um, sit up for 18 to 24 hours and then I'm going to come back and cut it. And I'm really, really excited to show you the stamp that Rockin' Roberts made. I think it's just going to take the soap to the next level. So Make sure you stay tuned in three, two, one. Ta-da! So I'm gonna be honest, you missed the soap cutting because it's been about a week since I made the soap, but I do love the way that it turned out. I love the little specks of different colors in here that you can see. Ooh, I have some mica on my finger. <laughs> um, but I just think it's so pretty and it smells incredible. So the whole point of this soap is Denise calls the soaps that she buys for me her fancy pants soap. So I had this soap stamp made from Rockin' Roberts Designs and I am obsessed with how this came out. So we're gonna stamp this soap so Denise can have her own fancy pants soap. So hopefully it's not too hard and I can still stamp it. All right, so I got a little carried away on some of my other ones, but this one actually turned out perfect. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. Denise, I hope you do too. So if you wanna get your hands on this Fancy Pants soap that I know Denise is going to absolutely love, go ahead, it's in the Etsy shop and you are welcome to purchase as many bars as I have. Thanks for watching.